Hello, welcome to the iMovie tutorial on basic color matching and color correction. It's going to be a short tutorial just showing you the basics on how to do this, so stay tuned and find out a little bit how uh, color correction and color matching is done. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is how to color match two video clips. I have a bunch of clips up here, and sometimes they're different colors. You know, they don't look like they're from the same camera or on the same day. So down here I have a clip that's pretty vibrant. As you can see, it's got a lot of colors to it, and it's, you know, I would say it's very vibrant as far as the colors are concerned. I have another clip up here, which I'm going to mouse over, that doesn't have that much color, and it's not that vibrant. It's kind of bland. All right, so after you highlight the bland clip up there, you want to head over here and under the color correction icon, which is the first one, there's a whole bunch of subcategories underneath here, and one of them is match color, and you'll see it here. I'm mousing over it. So basically, if you select the mouse color, um, you're going to see the bland video has two different windows here. Well, obviously, you don't want to match them against each other. Um, if you go up to the screen up here, you'll see this little text up here, and uh, you can go ahead and read it. But it basically tells you to select another video to match this video to. All right, so I'm going to head down to this more vibrant clip down here, and I'm going to select it. And if you notice by selecting any part of this clip, if you go back up here, you're going to notice that the Emirates clip has now got the same color as the you know, more colorful video. I'm going to go ahead and do this again for you. So you select the the kind of bland video up here. Um, you know, you can notice it's a little bit bland color. It doesn't look like the same one. Go over here to color match. You're going to get the two screens like I had just mentioned. Come back, well, you can keep an eye up here so you can see this video switch. You're going to go back down to the color, colorful video. Keep an eye up here. Click on this video somewhere on the timeline and then watch up there. The Emirates video just select, just, just change to a more colorful video and now it matches the other one. So if you notice that these two look very similar now, they look like they were done off the same camera. Um, so let me go ahead and actually you want to save it by clicking the check mark. See up here? Select that check mark, click it, and now that video is saved. Up here it's saved as it has more color. So I'm going to drag that down back into the timeline. And now you notice that instead of it being bland when I mouse over it, the two videos look very similar in color. And, you know, the color correction basically matched those two videos up to each other. All right, now that the timeline's so long, I'm going to go actually shorten the timeline over here. So go up here to this little icon, slide it to the left. This doesn't actually shorten the video, but it just makes the, I guess, the timeline more manageable so you can see everything in one screen. Okay, I'm going to show you some basic color correction just on one video screen. We're not going to match two, but we're just going to show you basic color correction. I actually slid another video down into my timeline down here. And as you can see, it's basically just of an airport with a spinning antenna. So go up to the um, icons. I'm going to show you here in a second. Go up to the icons up here. And instead of this first one, you want to select the second icon here. Not the first, but the second one. And it has these slider bars. And you can basically slide these to color correct to your liking. So the first one's actually going to be more of a contrast. If I slide it up or down, it's going to make it lighter or darker. And then you have these other dots, and I'll show you here the differences. But basically, it's just different kind of hues of the video clip. And it's going to change that video clip to any way you like it. So for you know, if you don't want to match this to another clip, you can actually just individually kind of color correct this. The next, oh, here's the last one I'll show you. The next little icon over here to the right is going to be something where you can increase the color or decrease the color. Here's an increase in color. You slide this to the left, you can actually have a black and white video. So that's very uh, straightforward as well um, if you want to do black and white videos. Finally, this third little slider bar over here will actually bring more yellow into your video to the right or more blue. So you can actually color correct for more blue or for more yellow, which are, or I guess, hotter or colder colors is the easiest way to say that. So you can see this is a much colder now, and you know obviously uh, we color corrected that. So. More or less, now, now that I play the total video, you can see that you know everything's color corrected and this final video is going to be a little bit bluer. It's going to be a little bit darker um, based off of the original one. So I hope that helps with color correction. And again, please support my channel by subscribing. I've made a few of these now and I don't have too many subscribers, but everyone helps. And if you have any ideas, please put them in the comments. I can do more of these. Everyone have a great day and I'll talk to everyone soon. Thanks a bunch. Bye.